Hi everyone, I'm David from Debolical, and welcome to another ModDB countdown video, the top 5 recent FPS mods on ModDB. The response to the last video was amazing, and we really appreciate all the support you gave us on our return. Rest assured, more videos will keep coming as long as you guys keep supporting the channel. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this countdown too. Whilst EA and DICE revisited Battlefront for their newest games, there remains a significant amount of people committed to and nostalgic for the older games in the Battlefront lineup. The gameplay holds up well, but their visuals, especially compared to EA's titles, doesn't so well. This mod project rectifies that with a vast array of visual improvements and gameplay updates to bring Battlefront 2 closer to the modern day. Featuring almost every map overhauled with new visuals and gameplay elements, customizable clone trooper options for the Republic faction, and a packaged in shader setup that brings that extra pizzazz to the game's lighting, the Battlefront 2 Remaster project makes returning to this old classic a real joy. If you download this mod, Endor Space Combat Map is a solid start to a brilliant experience. The mod also comes with a handy document for installing other mods on top of this one, and the shader has compatibility with other Star Wars Battlefront 2 modding projects, so you can take these visual improvements into other projects too. M-Mod is part visual overhaul, part gameplay overhaul, and all action. Playing through Half-Life 2 with vastly improved particle effects, animation quality, and additions to gameplay like detached emplacement gun turrets is a wicked time and the project gives you a great excuse to go back and play through the episodes again. New weapon models and visual effects add real kick to the combat, and meanwhile it is highly compatible with many Half-Life 2 mods so long as those mods don't make code changes of their own. It comes with built-in support for other projects like Minerva Metastasis, and the community regularly creates quality sub-mods and add-ons like M-Mod Tactical to enhance the draw to this project even further. The author's other works like Half-Life M-Mod for the first game in the series is also indicative of the attention paid to satisfying feedback in your arsenal. M-Mod opens up many new avenues of play across projects reaching far beyond Half-Life 2, and with further updates planned in the future, what M-Mod brings to the table will only increase over time. Amongst the longest running mods on this list, Project Reality for Battlefield 2 is a marvellous and deeply tactical revamp of this classic shooter. Now fully standalone with their own built-in and maintained multiplayer service, there's never been a better time to get to grips with this mod. Right out the gate, an installer and built-in launcher make this mod easy to set up and play. Then, it's into the action, and built upon Battlefield 2's foundation, it's not hard to see why this mod has stood the test of time. New vehicles and new weaponry vastly increase their tactical options in every game mode, resulting in clever, thought-out engagement between squads of organised players. A cooperative mode allows you to test these weapons in the sandbox against competent AI before moving out into the online and testing your skills in player versus player combat. The technical and visual mastery on display here is just enthralling, and with regular updates to this day, Project Reality isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This next mod's not for the faint of heart, but below the difficult surface lies a deep and immersive experience. Stalker Anomaly, also standalone and thus also exceptionally easy to pick up and play, is an incredibly customizable experience. This mod is not a casual play, but for the less hardcore players, options exist as well as helpful in-game guides that soften the initial introduction to the strange and dangerous zone. For players already familiar with Stalker's unforgiving gameplay loop, however, there are literally dozens of options for changing your playthrough before it even starts, with different starting loadouts, associated factions, and difficulty settings to map out your perfect Stalker experience. Very stable thanks to the team's own fork of the X-Ray engine, the mod features new game modes like survival and warfare modes that greatly change up the gameplay loop, and on top of that, much improved visuals, effects, and models as well as updated functionality like the 3D PDA, give the game a refined, polished sheen. If you fancy a story-focused experience, the Anomaly team thought of that too, with a four-chapter storyline to follow for narratively-minded players. 
The zone is still just as hostile as ever, but Stalker Anomaly is as good an introduction to it as you'll ever get. Last on our list is the ever-present, ever-gory, ever-destructive Brutal Doom, a mod for the original Doom that works on many source ports of the game and versions of the game's WOD file. Brutal Doom's legacy is one that speaks for itself. With 10 million visitors on their ModDB page, it's earned a reputation for turning up the action a notch in the already finely aged Doom. This is a reputation well earned, for the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay of Brutal Doom is nothing short of exhilarating. Vicious amounts of gore, new weapons that cause absolute anarchy, and alternate fire modes for many parts of your arsenal make even E1M1 feel new again. Meanwhile, new visuals powered by the various source ports Brutal Doom is compatible with give a unique flavour to Doom's 2.5D aesthetic. Much like Half-Life 2M mod, however, one of Brutal Doom's best draws is its surrounding modding community. With patches and compatibility modes for many of the most celebrated wads over the years, as well as sub-mods that add yet more new weapons, enemy types and functionality, Brutal Doom has created its very own modding community to follow. The new update continues the author's history of keeping Brutal Doom in the limelight, and with this level of content on show, it's simply not possible to resist going back to Brutal Doom and tearing up demons again, and again, and again. That's all for this action-packed countdown. As before, links to all mods mentioned in this video are in the description below, and you can also go straight to the mod pages of these games over on the ModDB version of the article. If you enjoyed this countdown, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below about what FPS mods you think are the best on ModDB. I'm David from Debolical, and we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.